Hi, Floss Tube. It's Kim with Kim J Inspired here for another week of sharing about cross stitching. This is a channel about cross stitching. If you are new here, welcome. I am so glad you joined me. If you like what you see, subscribe. We do a lot of fun giveaways and we talk about a lot of fun things. We are going to talk about cross stitch and maybe baseball today. I'm wearing my brave shirt for a reason, a kind of sad reason. This is number 29. I did check before I, before I turned on that record button that this is number 29 because sometimes I get confused because I don't I should script a little bit more at least have notes and I very rarely come downstairs with notes thanks so much to all of my friends who watch every week or as many weeks as you can there are a lot of great floss tubers out there I myself struggle with getting to everyone every week and I do play a lot of catch up hopefully I'll be getting to catch up more my work schedule is a little bit easier it's a big blessing so my plan is is to stitch more and watch more floss tube let's talk a little bit first about why I'm wearing this Atlanta Brave shirt sadly Hank Aaron who is probably the best known Atlanta Brave passed away yesterday uh, it was a big part of my, the Braves are a big part of my life. And I do remember watching Hank Aaron break Babe Ruth's home run record with my father. It is, in fact, my first baseball memory. So his passing really hit me hard. Um, we've also lost recently Phil Necro. There is, I had my picture made with him, gosh, what, three or four years ago. Uh, by the way, Steve is right there. I think this was three or four years ago. Five, maybe up to five. It's been a while. My parents were still alive, so it had to be at least five years ago. And then also Don Sutton, who was an, an Atlanta Braves announcer and a famous Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher, also passed away this week. I was stuck in an elevator at SunTrust Stadium, which is now Truist Stadium, with him. And I made the comment, I'm like, oh my goodness, how lucky am I to get on the same elevator as, as Don Sutton? He goes, no, the question is, how lucky am I? What a gracious man. He melted my heart. I couldn't even get my camera out to get a picture. I was just so starstruck by him. Anyway, un unfortunately, he passed away along with Hank Aaron. I, I have, you guys know that I, I, I tell you that, not to do a whole baseball thing on a channel about cross-stitch, but you guys know that I incorporate my everything else, baseball, football, all those things are incorporated into my cross-stitch. I'm going to show you this. It kind of matches my shirt. It might be a little dirty. I stitched this in 1997. <laughs> We're, we're going to put it up today. It's not even been up in art. So I, I stitched this in 1997. There is another Atlanta Braves pattern, and I'm not, and it's a little controversial, so I don't want to. Um, it is the, the old Atlanta Braves logo had what's, depending on who you talk to, it's the laughing Indian or the screaming Indian. And there are some Native Americans and indigenous people who think that that is a little bit offensive, and I totally understand that. A few years ago, I, I started that pattern. I, I purchased an, an older book. I haven't finished it. I'm not going to show it here because I, I try to be about unity and togetherness, and I don't want anybody to see that. And, and be offended by that. So there are other Atlanta Braves patterns. I have a ton of baseball patterns also that I am working on. I have been to the Cincinnati Red Stadium and to the Kansas City Royal Stadium. So I'm also going to be cross-stitching their logos at some point in the future, whenever I have time. As you guys know, I have a lot of things I like to stitch. So anyway, as I said, we I am a my the story of my life is told a lot in a lot of ways through my cross-stitching. I stitch things for my husband, Steve. I stitch things for my son, Lee. And I stitch things that I love. Now, what? let's get to what I did this week because it also tells a story. You guys have seen this a lot. This is One Nation. And I'm going to be making some changes. And yes, I held that up right. This is gorgeous. So I started this uh, toward the end of 2020. And I started it on some 18 count oatmeal because I had this huge piece in stash pardon all the strings and I've actually gotten this far Georgia is supposed to be stitched in like an ecru or a white but it just didn't show up well on this fabric I made a decision there let me say first there's an amazing Facebook group of One Nation Stitchers. It's led by a woman named Debbie. Debbie, if you're watching, I, forget, I don't remember your last name, but you are awesome. If you go on there, if you have advice, if you're having issues, or if you just want to share your progress, they are so great. So when I started having this issue, I started, I posted in there and had had some great advice. And here's the funny thing. I have decided that I'm going to do a restart and I'm going to stitch it on 18 count vintage country mocha. 
which I had some of that in my stash, a smaller piece, so I was able to stitch on it and to tell that, yeah, everything's going to show up great. And thanks to my sisters, I have a lot of gift card money from 123 Stitch, and I didn't really have to pay for it myself, so thank you to my sisters. I don't think they watch, but anyway. So I ordered that fabric and I'm going to be doing a restart. The funny thing is, is as I was looking around in my own stash to see if there was something I wanted to find, I decided to order the Vintage, vintage Country Mocha, went back into the One Stitcher's Facebook group, and Debbie said, hey, what have you thought about Vintage Country Mocha? I was like, yeah, I just ordered that, and that was just so great. But you know, if you, if you are stitching or thinking about stitching this, it is amazing. And as I said last week, definitely with all that's been going on in our country, that I stitched some tears into this version, and I will probably stitch some tears into the next version. So I will be doing a restart on that. But I did work on it on Inauguration Day and got that far. And that's as far as I'm going to get because this fabric will be used for something else. You guys who have been around me know that 18 count, this kind of oatmeal, rustico color, is my favorite Ada fabric. I'm just going to stuff that back in there. Steve's going to put that back right. Because he's that's, he's a good he is my he's a he is the producer I say of this video or of this visit he produces everything. All right, so guys, my son was here for a lot of the long weekend, and that means he takes my stitchy spot. So I don't have good lighting. So I usually I stitch on one or two things. I stitch on one of his projects, or I stitch on the Santas. Well, I have a great project that I'm working on for my son. It is a uh, LaCroix can that I, I found the pattern off of Etsy, but I didn't have, can you believe, I didn't have any 14 count white Ada in my stash. And I really wanted to do it on the white to make it look right. And I, I, I asked my son if he wanted me to do it on black and he just likes that plain stark white. And I, I kind of don't, but I do what he asks. So I didn't start that this weekend. So what I pulled out while he was here is I pulled out my Prairie Schooler Peace on Earth and I'm almost finished. I've heard, I got the words in, peace on earth. I got his boots in. I finished his, his little, the little legs of his little suit. And I think this is going to be a finish next month. I am waiting. I didn't, I thought I had ordered the 610 that is in some of the, that is in this sheet. There is a sheet here. You know, it would help if I would show you what it's supposed to look like, wouldn't it? That is what it's supposed to look like. So I basically have the sheet and the little staff to finish. So... I do think I'll finish that soon, but there, if you'll see these swirly colors in the sheep, I don't have that color. And I am a, I am a purist when it comes to my prairie schoolers. I make sure I use all the colors that are called for. So anyway, so yeah, I hope that I think I'll finish that maybe next month, but I am going to talk about plans and I have a lot of plans for next month. So I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> so, all right. The other thing I stitched was, you guys, I talked to you last week about I was having a hard time getting the next Country Cottage Needlework Sampler of the Month. That one vendor was very late with it. Thank you to Maria at, gosh, Maria White, Needle Art on Charts. I can't believe that. She got me this very fast. I ordered it, and then I also got my Floss of the Month from her, which I'm going to show you later in haul. So I got this, and I'm going to try to finish it. I did finish January, but I haven't fully finished it. I think that's going to be something I do later. So I started it, and I love this. I love these colors. So this is where I am. This is going to be a fast stitch. So this is in my plans to work on this week and get finished. I am stitching it on 32 count vintage country mocha. I think that I'm going to be saying vintage country mocha a lot in, this year because I have a lot of it and different sizes. And as I just said, I am going to be putting my One Nation on there. That's all my stitching. Um, I spent a lot of time on One Nation um, getting some things done, and so then now that I'm changing it, I count that as stitching. That counts, but yeah, it's not going to be in a finished project. So that is all of my stitching. So hey, let's go to haul. Let's talk about some things I got. I just mentioned that Maria was able to get me my Country Cottage Needlework Sampler of the Month for February. I'm also in her Floss of the Month Club, and I love it because she curates the best colors this is the, i am in the week's dye works floss of the month club and so i get i mean this is really cheap i have like six colors here gosh maria this is this is probably the best deal of any of the floss clubs i love it so this month i love this color it's called grapefruit this has got to be a ruby red grapefruit but this color is amazing 
I also, this is another color I'm just in love with. It's called Ocean. And then, of course, I've got some of the classic tin roof that is I know a lot of people always look for. I hope you guys can see that. I got this color, L-I-C-H-E-N. I guess you say that. Lichen, looking. Lichen. 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 See, that's why Steve's here. He's here to correct me and keep me straight. He laughed at that. I also, in there, there were these two really great colors, sea glass. I am, I am in love with this. I'm looking for some sea glass fabric. I have some, an idea for a project. I love this. And I have Robin's Egg. This is a great color. I love it, love it, love it. So that, but also, she included, this is a special Weeks Dye Works floss. So this is just amazing. I love this color. I can't wait to figure out what to stitch for it in the fall. I'm just going to leave it in here. It's called Harvest. It's a Weeks Dye Works holiday collection. And it's called Harvest. And it's a variegated floss. How gorgeous is that? I love it. I'm so happy with this. It always comes in this cute little bag, which I'm going to have Steve. I'm going to hand this to Steve. Steve's going to put all the flosses back in this cute little packaging. Because I keep, Maria, I just want you to know, I keep all your flosses in all their original packaging. I have not put them out anywhere. I love it. So I got that from Maria. Now, I think I told you guys last week I was going to meet my best friend. We were going to exchange some fabrics. And she had received some stitchy kindness from some people. And she didn't want some of it, so she passed it on to me. So I have a packet of flosses that she gave me. It has some really good colors. It also has some JP coats in there that I may like, but it's got quite a bit of, it's got 347. It has 436 and 433, some very basic DMC colors that I use a lot. So yay. Um, and here we go. Here is some 14 count. It's called Fiddler's, this is called Fiddler's, light here but it's basically the oatmeal kind of flavor that i or flavor that's funny flavor i'm gonna crack up i can't laugh <laughs> if i crack up i won't stop this morning i've got the giggles a little bit the kind of color it's kind of it's a similar color to the 18 count oatmeal and i love this so she gave me this and also there was some 18 count ada in this kind of off-white it almost looks yellow to me but it's i don't know if you can see the color how well that's showing up Looks more yellow than off white to me. So I received those and I was very happy with that. Also, for you guys who used to purchase these cross country stitching magazines, I have a few of them. I've stitched a couple of things out of them. It's definitely a taste thing because these projects are very country. They have a lot of back stitching, but there was one of those in that stash and so she gave them to me. There are, so I was going to, there is a really cute project in here that you can do a lot with. And it's something that I may do. It has just like a different, a lot of different ideas. You could just take one or two of these things and just make them your own. So I've thought about just stitching, you know, maybe just a little bit of the house. There's a house right there. Just maybe stitching that house for some kind of small spring ornament. So I was happy to get that. So yeah, it's always, I love stitchy kindness. And I'm exchanging some, I think, soon with someone. And yay! So this is going to be a shorter video than I thought, and that's that's fine with me because we're now to the part of giveaways. Guys, thank you so much for for you for those of you who responded with your tales of kindness. They touched my heart. I do think we all need to try to understand each other better instead of just being offended at everything. Let's talk about it. Um, some things are offensive, okay? I'm not saying we should dismiss things that are really offensive, but we do need to talk more with each other and love each other more and just accept each other as we are. But it doesn't always work in this world. So your stories, I kind of, my heart needed those this week. So thanks so much for that. Today we're giving away a $25 PayPal gift certificate. I will be of your choice. I will, whoever wins this, I will talk to you guys about that. And we're also giving away, of course, our $20 gift card to Needle Art on Charts. Guys, Maria is the best. <laughs> I, she I was able to secure a pattern that I wanted. I don't think I have it on my, I don't think I have it on my pad here, but she was really able to secure some things that I wanted. But before we get to the giveaways, I am gonna talk a little bit about plans because you know what? I made some. <laughs> I'm making some plans. So guys, I'm not going to be working on as much on my One Nation. So my plan is, is that I'm going to be working a lot more on my Country Cottage Needlework Samplers. And I also have 
for Valentine's Day, guys. You guys have seen me work on this, but I didn't work on it this week. This is from Little Stitch Girl. This is Loads of Love. That's You're going to see my next project there. I meant to just hit that one. Loads of Love. I really love this project. I'm going to try to get work on that once I finish the Country Cottage Dino Work Sampler and get that ready for Valentine's Day. Don't know where I'm going to use that. You guys, you did see also that I'm going to be, I don't know why, I do not like this. This is an Amazon Fire tablet. Sometimes it just goes crazy. I don't know if you guys were on Facebook last night, but it also went a little crazy. I have also purchased my first Teresa Cogat pattern, The United We Stand. I hope to stitch this in time for the 4th of July. So, I love this pattern too. So, anyway, so let's talk about, before we, before we draw for the giveaway, for this week, let's talk about the giveaway for next week. As usual, it is we are giving away a bag from Joyful Stitching. Deborah, hello. Deborah's pretty amazing. I, I love all of her bags. I brought a few more down here to show you. Like this is the bag she did. She she came up with the idea. This is what I put in put in some of my bird patterns. Robin at Bird's Eye Stitching. I know you're doing a bird wall. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this. And also, I'm doing my spring pattern, my spring project. I gotta be careful not to turn that around, actually. I mean, look at this bag. And then she has a whole host of Christmas bags. You guys have seen a lot of them. Instead of picking a bag for you like I normally have done, Deborah has started doing gift certificates. So I have purchased a gift certificate. And if you win the gift certificate, you could just go to her Etsy site and you can pick out what you want. So. That is, so what do you have to do this week? Okay, Deborah and I were talking on Instagram. She was talking about organization. I'll be honest with you, my organization is terrible. I've got one of those closets that I'm really ashamed of. I still haven't gotten everything off my kitchen table from Christmas. I am a terrible organizer. You just don't wanna to come to, you're not gonna find a Priscilla Blaine kind of house if you come visit me ever. One of the reasons is we do have little space here and we're having a hard time finding a house or another place to, to move to, as a lot of people are, that's common. But I need to do better with the space that I have and I need to be more organized. So t I am very curious as to how you organize your fabrics and your flosses, if they're organized at all. I'm a mess. I am 100% a mess. And I'm just, and if you are, hey, that's okay. This is a judgment-free zone. So just kind of tell me a little bit in the comments to win the bag to win your choice of a wonderful bag from Joyful Stitching. Tell me how you organize your flosses and fabrics. I think it'll help all of us out to know. Again, so Deborah, this is kind of for you too because I know that you are curious as to how people organize as we're all trying to do better with that. Okay, so let's draw two prizes this week. $25 PayPal gift card and a $20 card to Needle Art on Charts. That means it's time for Steve to come. Come on, Steve. Steve is also all decked out in his Atlanta Braves stuff. He has on his Atlanta Braves hat. I'm going to move up here. I'm getting closer to you. And my leg always goes to sleep. We are working on a better setup for shooting these videos. I don't know if I'm short today because I talk fast or I just didn't have that much to say. Say hello, Steve. Hello. So, Steve, how was your week? It was great. Well, for the most part, anyway. Yeah. We had a pretty, we had just a pretty quiet week. We went walking at the park. Um, we do that. I, I, if I don't walk, I know this is weird. I'll walk in the house or do something to get my steps in every day. But we went walking. We did some grocery shopping. Our son, my son, his stepson was here until like Monday afternoon. He stayed. And then basically I work and we're boring. We are so boring. <laughs> but we have a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun. I hope he feels that way. He's kind of quiet back there. We're just an average couple. Yeah, I don't think we're average, but yeah. We're a little weird. The average boring couple. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know you guys are just like, will y'all shut up and please draw for these names? We're going to draw for the $20 gift card to Needle Art on Charts first. So this is for that $20 gift card. Guys, I just put everybody's name in here. So... So, you, I don't know who's going to win. I just put everybody's name in here. Margaret, hey, you won again. You won that $20 gift card to Needle Art on Charts. I loved your story about the kindness that was shown to you as, you, as your husband. Was, you know, you guys, during Thanksgiving, some people made sure that you guys had a Thanksgiving dinner. And that story really touched me, as I told you in a private message. So, you have won that $20 gift card to Maria at Needle Art on Charts. I will be hooking you up with Maria um, via email, I'll, I'll send you a note on Instagram later. So, Margaret, you won 
the $28 gift card there. Now, this is for a $25 PayPal gift card. There are tons of PayPal gift cards you can get, or you can just say, hey, just send me some PayPal, $25 in PayPal cash. That is what we'll do. We'll see who won this. Hold on to that. Don't, 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 don't. Just hold okay. on to that. Leave it where it was. Cheryl, you have won the 20 Cheryl Tattersall. Cheryl, you've been with me from the beginning. You really have. Thank you, Cheryl, for your comments. You comment every week. You have won that $25 PayPal gift card. I will, Cheryl, I'll send you an email. I have your information, and we'll work all that out and get that to you. So, guys, don't forget the giveaway next week. It is for a gift, a gift certificate, an Etsy gift certificate, to win one of Deborah's fabulous bags. Woohoo! I love her bags. Yeah, I don't have a chart. I had the chart on one of them. She always picks the best backing colors. Yeah, all my floss in here is probably a mess. But, yeah, this is my, I use this bag for my Luminous Fiber Arts Christmas birds. I stitched one. I'm going to stitch several more. This has about all of the birds that I could see out my window, except it doesn't have a blue jay. So, well, guys, thank you so much. Yes, we are going to have lunch with my son today. So, as soon as this video is up and loaded, we'll be headed up to Chattanooga. It's only about an hour away from where we live in Georgia. And we're going to have a fun lunch with him. So, thank you guys so much. Steve, you got anything else to say? No, just everybody have a good week and be safe. Yes, guys, have a great week and have a great stitchy week. Maybe I'll get more stuff done. I don't know. But thanks, guys, so much. Have a great week. We love you. Bye-bye.